Hey, it's Kyle Madsen with your top stories on Sports 1140. The Raiders lost to the Seahawks 27-3 yesterday. Derek Carr completed 23 of 31 throws for 142 yards. He was sacked six times. Oakland now hits their bye week at 1-5. The 49ers didn't lose yesterday because they played tonight. They face the Packers at Lambeau Field up there in Green Bay. Matt Breida, George Kittle, Pierre Garçon, K1 Williams, and three starting offensive linemen are all questionable for the 49ers. Sac Republic FC got a huge win Saturday night, one nothing over the Las Vegas Lights. The victory secured the number two seed in the home playoff game on Saturday. That's uh, next Saturday, October 20th, against the Swope Park Rangers in the USL quarterfinals. And in baseball, the Red Sox beat the Astros 7-5 in Game 2 of the American League Championship Series to tie that one up at a game apiece as it heads to Houston. The Dodgers and Brewers continue the NLCS tonight with Game 3 in Los Angeles. It's 8:04. Carpets Plus is having our fall sale 25% off all of your flooring needs. Cars and shines, like you had. <laughs> I'm not letting you go to work today. Wait, what? Everybody, listen up. Welcome to The Drive. Morning, morning, morning. You're going to talk. Get on the phone at 339-1140. <laughs> Pretty awesome, huh? Jump in on our text line at 44-1140. Everyone is talking about it. You must know that. The Drive starts now. We're going to have to do the best we can to uh, find five men that can collectively pass protect much better. And that's what we will do. I guess at this point I'd take five men, five women, five, five cats, dogs. Hey, this is the dumbest thing I've ever, I've ever brought up on the radio. Ready? And we have to move on from this. But I have to ask you, is there a rule? <laughs> is, there, <laughs> is there a rule that you couldn't actually sign five bears to be on your offensive line? Like, if you trained actual grizzly bears to be on your offensive line, would that break a rule? Is there a rule? Like, if you actually trained real bears. I'm sure, I'm sure there's wording in the in the league rules. You have to be a human? Yeah. Isn't that bear discrimination? Didn't bears have the right? <laughs> bear discrimination. Bear discrimination. There's got to be, but I need I, I need somebody in the NFL office. It, I would also I would also anticipate uh, their claws being ruled some kind of like dangerous thing. They got to be trimmed, and you got to put uh, like, like corks mitts. on them. Yeah, <laughs> Cork. corks on that. Something soft. Uh, <laughs> maybe, and you have to like wire their their mouths shut. I think they would have a. I think they would have some trouble to like even if you trained them to get down in like a three point or two point stance. Yeah, the false start thing Um, would be a problem. Yeah, Uh, you would would have to listen. And I I feel like (laughs) I feel like bears are really susceptible to jukes. You think so? They're so instinct reliant that they just see like that they just see that thing's going to the left, and then you go to the right. Have you seen a dog when you fake throw a toy? Yeah, it's it it's trash. It, a, it it might figure you out after two or three pump fakes nope. on the first try, but 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 it, if I pump fake a dog the next day, uh-huh. it's gonna bite. All right, drive question of the day number three because we've got what has John Gruden done positive for the Raiders this year? Uh, for example, John Gruden figured out a way to. Uh, Face his fear of flying with that London trip. Also, uh, he has single handedly brought happiness and joy to every football fan in Chicago. Speaking of Bears. Ah, great point. Um, number two is uh, things we want to happen to Vontez Perfect that aren't life threatening, like stepping on a Lego. Uh, somebody said uh, they hope that he perpetually sits on cold toilet seats. That's a really good one. That one's mean. And then I guess question number three is this, Kyle. What would be the most likely and most effective animal you could train to be a football player? Would it be a dog that you could teach how to hand the ball off to in its mouth and then you have to try to tackle dog? I don't think it could. eh, I don't think it would. eh. Like, I don't think there's a dog in the mouth big enough to effectively carry a What about tackling football. bear? This is the stuff we do on the show where people, like, write to our boss and go, you know, all this football happened, and I they're think, talking about can bears. Can you imagine a tiger coming off the edge? You mean, like, LSU? Clemson? No, I'm talking like, a, like an actual oh, like tiger. Oh, actual tiger. Yeah, like, that thing's lined up I'm an outside linebacker. It. And the dip a tiger would have around the edge, that no, is elite bend. No dip. That you, is the tiger elite. would jump over. 
the whole line and and just maul the quarterback. Tigers can jump like 12 feet in the air, unconfirmed. Uh, but see, then you're getting roughing the passer. So, <laughs> I think mauling the quarterback would definitely be roughing, even if the entire body weight of the Tiger isn't on the quarterback. But if you're looking to legally tackle the quarterback, I think a Tiger would have elite bend around the edge and explosiveness. No left tackle, I don't care how good your kick step is, is getting out in front of that Tiger. And even if they do, that thing is dipping underneath. Like You can't get low enough leverage. Low man wins. The Tiger's going to be low man every time. Marty from Philly, he's right. Love Marty. Elephant for the win. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. What if you had five elephants? Way to kill the bit, Marty. Thanks, Marty. I, I, although I'll say as an offensive although, line, no, you no. could use an offense, uh, an elephant on offense, but an elephant. Give me an elephant fullback. An Ella fullback. Elephant would be a horrible offensive line in mole because you would just run under elephant. Yeah, that would be, yeah. And elephant is not agile. I'm going to hand the ball off to elephant because who is tackling elephant? Okay. People are actually starting to get this. And they're creating – so you could have – you'd have to train them right, but you put gorilla at offensive line. Giraffe is tight end. Okay. Okay. Uh, cheetah is running back. Okay. Eagle for wide receiver. <laughs> okay. That's cheating. From the 916, Kyle, you don't need to say I feel like about the bear. It's a known fact the bear would bite on the play action. <laughs> gorilla offensive line would be actually really, see, I think, really see, good. I'm thinking gorilla like inside linebacker. Although gorilla offensive line is good because they got the long arms. That's good. No, that's a good one. That's way better. Somebody said you could use a bowl. But how would the bull hold the ball? You can't just spike the ball on the bull horn. <laughs> that is for sure deflate game. Yeah, you, you can't. Yeah. You can't blatantly deflate All the right. football. I, I say we do come up with our all most realistic and effective animal football positions. Do we have one for quarterback? I think a gazelle at wide receiver. Yeah. Ooh, what's the quarterback of the animal kingdom? Yeah, what would be the most likely animal? Gotta be like a, it's got to be like a like a like a chimp, right? I have you seen Planet of throwing motion? Have you seen Planet of the Apes? Yeah, Those but things a are football super is smart. Not, but a football is not poo. Chimps can throw poo, and so can uh, monkeys. Not according to Jay Ajayi. I'm just saying. Here we go from the 209, again with Quality Radio, Sports News Day. Listen. It would be a huge sports news day if a team fielded a team of animals. All right. Let me get to some Raiders highlights before we spend the entire rest of the show. I'm going to obsess on this whole freaking day. Here's more of John Gruden, John Grudening. I'll be honest with you, I got excited getting off the plane. I thought being in Wembley Stadium was uh, one of the cool moments I've had as a coach. Unfortunately, I'll always remember it in a bad way, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> 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 I'll remember it in a bad way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, no, John, this is bad. John, this is bad. Your quarterback has an IV in him right now, and he has grass po sticking out of his eyeball. He's, he's literally crying, and we still don't know what happened to that left hand. Give me a bullet middle linebacker. So you've got, like, the mic. Yeah, you, you, you have the elephant. You have the bull. And then my tiger is on the – are we running a 3-4 or 4-3? Yeah, what you want. I'm going 3-4 and give me tigers on my, my – Kangaroo is the kicker. Yeah, that's a good one. Kangaroo is kicker, or who says you have to hike the ball, hike the ball, and 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 put it on the ground if you held the ball off the proper way and you trained a horse or a donkey? Oh, yeah. And they just Did backwards it. kicked it? Yeah. Bears can run 35 miles an hour. They make a great running back. I think I want a bear at safety. I a strong safety bear. I don't think there'd be anything safety about a bear. I, I'd want a bear at dangerous tee. 
<laughs> you get that you start talking trash to a bear imagine that the bear just snaps in the fourth bears quarter. bears literally eat trash yeah bears bear oh oh it looks like uh looks looks like jalen ramsey's gonna miss four to six the bear ate him <laughs> personal foul by the way uh, that's definitely 15 yards that's targeting <laughs> In a bad way, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's well, it's bad. God, John Gruden's kind of an embarrassment right now. All right, here's Derek Carr. Derek Carring. I'm gonna lead the heck out of this team, you know, all the way. Uh, there's no game I ever go into thinking that we're outmanned or can't win or things like that. You you know that, um, you know. But uh, you know, this being my fifth year, you, you want it now. Um, you, you know, you want everything now. I know our fans want it now. Our players, our team wants it now. Our coaches want it now. I want it now. Um, and trust me, we are trying to do it now. Call JG one more. <laughs> Am I a bad person for having no dog in the fight? I don't care about the Raiders as far as being a football fan. I really, I really like Derek Carr. Derek Carr is wonderful. I love him. Also, and I feel bad for him. Uh, one of the Ringer podcasts brought this up. And if we have six more games throughout the year that went like yesterday's did, Derek Carr can be cut for $7.5 million next year. Oh, my God. Hey, I'm not advocating it. I'm not saying I, I would do it. I it would know. be the wrong uh, move. But you know what else was the wrong move? Trading Khalil Mack. Yeah. And... Rumors surfaced yesterday from Jay Glazer at Fox Sports that they're shopping Carl Joseph and Amari Cooper. I'll John Gruden Amari is Cooper. John Gruden is is getting rid of all of Reggie McKenzie's draft picks. Derek Carr is one of them. Seven million, a, huh? If he is unsatisfied with Derek Carr's performance and thinks that he needs a different quarterback in there, he's not going to hesitate to use one of his. 50 first round draft picks to do that and just rebuild not, the team in his own yes, image yes he has 10 years dude again not the move I would make but financially if that's the route he wants to go it's not totally unfeasible and given his track record in the last oh six weeks eight weeks I am not putting it past him. Props to the guy that wanted Vontez Burfick to be the caboose and something I'm not going to read on the air, but, <laughs> for, but for real, props for caboose being spelled K-A-B-O-O-S. Sounds like a sounds like a restaurant. Also, the other guy for quoting Ace. <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> for suggesting a dolphin kicks a field goal and quoting Ace Venture. <laughs> Sometimes the autocorrects actually do make me laugh. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Um, Soccer style kicker. I wouldn't mind seeing the Raiders cut Derek Carr, but only because I love Derek Carr and I'd like to see him get a chance somewhere else. Yeah. Because he, he's Jacksonville. Not, he, oh, my God. That would be... <laughs> trade Derek Carr to Jackson... Uh, t- trade Derek Carr to Jacksonville for Jalen Ramsey. Just <laughs> Yeah, straight across, I think they would do that. Straight across. Uh, because this guy is not going to make it through 16 games at this rate. It's just not. It's not going to happen. It's just, it's the mindset is so interesting. And obviously we're not in the locker room. We don't know. But I imagine they went into this year. Exactly. Right? I imagine they went into this year going, hey, you know what? We were a playoff team two years ago. We faltered a little bit last year. But we got a new coach in here. Who's gonna lock the doors? Lock the and get doors. To work. Uh, and I think they really had playoffs, playoff aspirations. And with the Khalil Mack trade, everybody kind of went, "Oh!" And now they've started one and five. And it's not gonna get much better, right? Well, I have, have hard, three wins, right? I have a hard time believing that just the mental fortitude it takes to get through a seventeen-week NFL season. I I don't know how that's not eroded to next to nothing by week six. Do you trade Derek Carr? Do you trade Derek Carr for the New York Giants first round pick next year? Yeah. Yeah. Uh what? No. Oh, yes. Okay. No. All right. No. Okay. Um uh, no, here's okay, look. Here's if 
the if if Gruden is is unhappy with Carr's play, which like some of the weird stuff he's said about him so far, like he's not aggressive enough, and then he was too aggressive, and uh, I wouldn't if their plan if their long if the Raiders' long term plan is to move away from Derek Carr, yeah, then yeah. But if they're going, hey, if they see what everybody else sees and goes, man, this is a guy with all the arm talent. We just need to get the right pieces around him to help him succeed. And they're going to move forward with him, then then no, I wouldn't do that just straight up. If you were to trade Derek Carr, and let's say that Giants pick was a top five pick, and you add that to the two Bears first round picks, you move to Vegas. Assume, assume because... Gruden's got 10 years. Right, if they, if they were to do that, they would likely be looking at two top five picks and then a pick in probably the early 20s. Sure. Like, that's big time draft capital. Better hope it's a good draft. Right. But, right. And that's where we've seen Derek Carr do this at an MVP level. Yes, we in have. In the NFL. Yes, we have. I just have a... I know he hasn't been playing well. I just... The the idea of being like, nah, see ya. I think we could get my own quarterback. From 5-3-0, Derek Carr's not worth a first round or maybe a second, fourth, or fifth conditional. I disagree. If I'm Dave Gettleman and I'm in this situation, I don't I don't want to rebuild with a rookie quarterback. I think Derek Carr's perfect. You bring Derek Carr in, you're going to lose your first round pick, no doubt about it. But now you have an offensive core of Derek Carr, Saquon Barkley, and Odell Beckham Jr. <laughs> Th- that's a pretty good start. You you can pretty much now just go hope your defense is averaged above average. Spend the rest of your money on your offensive line. Get him a get him a tight end of which there's plenty out there. Carr, Barkley, and Beckham. Imagine Derek Carr and Odell Beckham Jr. If Carr could get it down the field. What was the uh, what was the thing you showed me before the show? Not that thing. <laughs> the, the 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 chart. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Smarty Pants. What is it? It's a f- air, air chart thing. It's a passing chart oh. that shows where that shows where each completion was. Me, it doesn't. It doesn't take. It doesn't take yak into account. Yards after catch. What? I'm kind of listening. Yeah. Well, that's what well, it's called. Well. <laughs> Uh, Derek Carr, according to your chart, averaged zero point one air yards per throw yesterday. Do you know how hard that is to do? 0.1. I think he had one throw of 20-plus yards yesterday. Woof. And again, I don't know if this is offensive play design or Derek Carr or a bad offensive line. Yeah. It's all of it. I, I think I think it's you less. Think they're just a disaster. I think they're a disaster, and I honestly think it's less Derek Carr than anything else. I do too. I, 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 listen, I don't want to defend Derek Carr's day yesterday, but he got sacked six times, and he still completed 23 passes and missed eight, and he didn't throw a pick. Like, I'm not saying Derek Carr was good. I'm saying it's so easy to look at these stats in a vacuum and not go, dude, he had no time. He was running for his life. He was getting mauled and beaten. His guys were covered. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's, right. They're a disaster. And and lest you think we're picking on the Raiders, the Niners might be a bigger disaster, and they're playing tonight against Green Bay. That's lambs to slaughter right there. Hope you guys have uh, Aaron Rodgers on your fantasy league teams. It might get it might get bad. <laughs> it might get really bad. This might be one of those like the four good, touchdowns in the first half. Nights. The good news for the 49ers is their schedule eases up with the Rams next week. That's neat. You mean that they, they get to play the last remaining undefeated team in the NFL next week? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, by the way, in future news, uh, a little Nostra dumbass here on a Monday, uh, the Rams will continue to be undefeated after next week. Yeah, I'm going to go with that too. If the Niners beat the Rams next week, is it like even possible to have a bigger upset? Like that would be a bigger upset, obviously, than the Bills uh, Vikings. Like I don't think you could have a bigger upset, could you? Uh, I don't know. We'll see what the spread. I'm very interested to see what the point spread is because the Vikings were favored by 17 at home huh. against the Bills. Because they're on the road, the Rams might not get 17, but I bet they get like 14 or 14 and a half. 
from the 916, Derek Carr's lack of pocket presence is astonishing for a 50-year quarterback. One rush? I, I disagree with that. I, I think you have all the pocket presence in the world when that pocket collapses on you, and, and Carr's not perfect. But I don't look at that and go, oh, oh, his pocket presence. I look at that as like, oh, my God, he he has like 0.5 seconds to throw the ball. Pocket presence is much more difficult to uh, have when uh, there is a defensive presence in the pocket regularly. Uh, finally, the Bengals and Steelers played yesterday. The Steelers won. The uh, pick play at the end, I think, was a legal play, and I think Al Riveron did a good job describing how that will never get called, not in that right. situation, not at the goal, not at the line of scrimmage. Uh, and we talked about this earlier, Kyle, in the show, but for those uh, those just joining us, Vontez Perfect is trash. Awful. He's always been trash. He'll continue, we imagine, to be trash. And, Kyle, I'm going to say $25,000 no suspension. For his cheap shot at Antonio Brown yesterday, what do you say? Let's let's take the guesses right now. I'm going. Uh, let's see. I'm going thirty thousand. Uh huh. Thirty thousand one hundred and forty-two. Okay, I say twenty-five. They do, because they do oddly specific. Yep. And two games. You think he gets two games for yesterday? Mm-hmm. Wow. I hope you're right. I strongly believe you're wrong, but I hope you're right. I'm just trying to kind of speak it into existence. Oh, if that works. Oh. Because we've seen him because we've seen him get suspended for, for in season stuff before. Mm-hmm. With the NFL trying to kind of make an example out of him. From the nine one six, a legendary Grant Napier would not approve of Derek Hart in New York. Interesting. I'm gonna ask him during the break. Great point. We will take a possibly break. coming up. Speaking of Grant Napier, possibly his answer if I can get a hold of him. Uh, Kings lose in Portland on the second night of a back-to-back, or as the bloggers say, a Sega Baba. Team looked better. Uh, Dave Yeager and Darren Fox look like they got a stomach bug, and uh, we will look ahead. Uh, we're going to start a Kings preview tomorrow, by the way. Want to announce we didn't Friday. Want to make sure you guys know Sam Amick of The Athletic has signed a deal to extend his contract with us. He will be appearing every Thursday at 8.05 during the NBA season. Take that, C.J. McCollum or Damian Lillard. Either one. It's Damian Lillard. We'll take him. Damian Stoudemire. When we come back, don't do that. We'll talk Kings right here on Sports 1140 KCK. Vontress, which is Vontez's wife. (laughs) No. It's your okay, friend. Okay, no, no, don't, don't, no, no, okay. no, don't tell me. I All think right. I have it. Okay. Vontez needs to pass the Wonderlick test before each game. That is absolutely correct. I would have had no clue. So we were looking for uh, annoying things that should have to happen to Vontez Burfitt from the 916. I hope Vontez Burfitt gets drunk and gets a big baller brand tattoo. Vont- What's wrong with that? But, yeah, right? Vontez should be forced to use the cage to cake commissary for all his food. We have a commissary. <laughs> <laughs> How is there no flag on the perfect hit? Because the refs missed it. I, I can't. I would like for that type of stuff to be. Is it reviewable? I don't believe no. it is. It should. How, Targeting for like ejections, I believe is. I mean. Like in college. Yeah. How is that not reviewable? Yeah. I don't know. I think it should be like that's something you show it on the scoreboard or a coach throws his flag, and that should be one of those reviewable plays where if if it's right, you don't that right. doesn't even count as a challenge. Right. He shouldn't have, he shouldn't have been able to play the rest of the game. He should have been tossed right there. Hey, speaking of real quick, I don't want to derail this, idea, uh, but I'm going to. Uh, are, do you subscribe to the idea that if you keep getting challenges right, you shouldn't run out? Yes. I think it's ridiculous that you can run out of challenge. I completely agree. I've always felt that way. Like, if the refs keep getting calls wrong, why is it on you to... In any sport, baseball, yeah. basketball, football, anywhere where you're allowed to challenge anything, you should be able to have, oh, it's, uh, the game's too slow. Well, sorry. Yeah, think, tell the refs to do a better job. If you... I'd rather the game go slow and know all the calls are right, right. than the opposite. You should be able to have 750 challenges a game. If... You're right on all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what's to stop? What? What's the logic there to saying no other than time? But again, I'd rather have a longer game 
I guess the idea is you have to strategically use your challenges, but you shouldn't have to strategically try and get the calls right. No, strategically use them. You use your challenges when there's a wrong call. And guess right. what? Well, it, that's just right. So you get three in the NFL because right. if you get your first one right. Get one of those challenges. There might be a bad call later in the game. Which is stupid. For. Which is stupid. Really dumb. Really stupid. There's no logic there. None. If they're getting calls wrong, now here's the strategy. You have to you have to make sure you get the, the challenge right. And if you don't, you lose it. Right, yes. But if you get it right, then that's on the referees for making the bad calls. Yeah, I'm with you. Do you subscribe to the idea that if you have five or less fouls going into overtime, you should receive one extra foul. In other words, going to overtime should all... Long wanted the... Yeah, if you're playing in overtime... So, so a fouled out player gets to come back? No, 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 oh, no, no. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. If then you yes, fouled out in regulation, yes. okay, you're gone. Yeah, yeah. But, but if, if you have, have five going in, correct. Yeah, I'm with you. Now that means you have two more. Now you have an extra foul. I can. I, that's another one I don't get. If you're playing extra time, now if you go to quadruple overtime, it's still one foul. But you don't get an extra foul for every for, for each overtime, right? But upon going to overtime. It goes to seven fouls to foul out of a game. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why that should be a, shouldn't be a rule. Speaking of basketball, great pass oh. in the pocket, a great flush by Marvin Bagley, and the setup came from Frank Mason again. Mason picking up the assist. That was hey, sweet. Was that Jason? Uh, Jason in the background. Yeah. Uh, huh. Let me, let me see. Hold on. Great pass oh. in the pocket, a great flush by Marvin Bagley. I don't Bagley. think so. That doesn't sound like Jason. From Frank Mason again. Who was that? Was that Doug? That was, oh, that was Saturday, right? Yeah, Jason was doing that. Was uh, in, yeah, that was in Portland. Yeah, Jason was doing stuff. Who did the, ah. Uh. Great pass oh. in the pocket. Grant. I think that might have been Grant. That might have been Grant. That sounds like a Grant. Hold on. I think that's a Grant. Because imagine the, huh, going into, oh, boy. Huh. Great pass oh. in the pocket. That's Grant. That's Are you a, sure? I am. It I, sounds a little bit too old manny to be great. I would say that. Well, oh. well, well, he's not saying that. I can say that with 85% confidence. <laughs> that was Grant. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> it's the old guy. Hey, we're out of play. Oh. There you go. Great. Pass oh. on the puck. That's Grant. Oh, you can hear the bass and the. Hur. All right, one more time. We'll take your votes at 44, 11, 40. Great. Pass on oh. the puck. That's Grant. I am 85% sure that that is Grant. Do we have any more highlights and see if we can hear him on there? All right, here's, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> here's Marvin Bagley again. Leaves the ball outside for Lillard, who enters the Nurkic baseline right. Looks for a cutter inside. It's McCollum. Rejected by Bagley and grabbed by Mason. Kings quickly push it up the floor. alley -oop. Great finish. Willie Cauley-Stein. Mason on target again. And the block by Marvin Bagley triggered that run for Sacramento. That was superb. That is a harder job than doing the play-by-play. Uh, -play. Yeah, knowing when to jump in yep. and, and trying to keep it concise. Yep. I do that. I try. I have to deal with that every day. What do you mean? Because I could sit here and just ramble all day, but I know I have to cut my thoughts off. Why? Uh, because. Because. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not. I didn't give you those rules. N right. Oh, okay. Because we have to take breaks. Right. And stuff. It's so, well, yeah, and and nobody wants to hear me. Well, that's wrong. I do. Most people don't want to hear me. There are many days I wish you would keep talking. There's <laughs> yeah. just some days. It's just some days just give me a stretch it out and I'll just. I'm just praying for you to ramble on something and let me pick off of it. There's just some days I want to hand the ball off, buddy. Interesting. Uh, okay. See, I always figured the opposite. Usually, right, no. hey, you let me. You let me know, and we will. I'm at my. I'm. I like to think I'm the Johnny Carson of you, sports radio. Sometimes you want to run the wildcat. I. I'm happiest when you or the guests are shining. Great. Yeah. You just compared yourself to Johnny Carson. Yeah, but like not in a good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that sounded really bad. I. I am the Johnny I, Carson of radio. <laughs> if Johnny Carson had almost no talent <laughs> and was horrible at his job. <laughs> I am, you know what, I don't, you know, I, I'm i the letterman of radio. Let me, let's be clear. 
Well, you got like a jacket and everything with a letter on it. Nice. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, so mm. the Kings bounced back, kind of. It was a much better game, and it was on yeah, the road. They they needed to 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 put together a better at least effort. They were probably going to go into Portland and win, but show something that said that they knew. Some of these kids, and they're uh, per 36, Bagley and Giles especially. I, I saw some per 36 numbers uh, somebody put up. Marvin Bagley's kind of quietly having a much better preseason than I think a lot of people thought he would. Yeah. And, and I think we should acknowledge that. Acknowledged. Yeah? Is that, is that that easy? We can move on? Yeah, well, when you look at just he is consistently night in and night out. He's been uh, like like 18 and 8. 15 and 8. And I think if you're getting that from him in his rookie year, I don't think you can ask for a lot more than that. No. Not at all. By the way, Sam Amick will talk to him about this on Thursday. The Athletic, all the b- basketball writers went round table on MVP and all this and that whatever. Uh Sa- Marvin Bagley to win MVP? No, don't be silly. Oh. He picked Harry Giles to win rookie of the year. I mean, dude, I mean, what kind of odds do I get on that? I don't know. Why don't you talk about that on your own show that this guy from the 209 thinks you need? Is that what you want, Kyle? You want your own show? <laughs> Tired of this one? Yes. Huh? Huh? It's been a year? Is a year too long? I just, that, that, that's what I'm doing. I'm like, hey, guys. Hey, everybody, text in. Text in. Hey, Mom. <laughs> we'll take a break. What's on tap is next. My, ma- my mom has 12 phones, and she's just working them. <laughs> like, like the octopus playing <laughs> quarterback. She's constantly texting from different area codes. Sports 1140K HDK. Nope. It's the end of the show. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's, it's still not. No, it's it's false no, alarm. no, no. There we go. Nice. There it is. Kyle needs his own show. <laughs> Sports 1140 KHTK. And the Sacramento Kings rally to get the win. We do sports. A toast to the men and women who care about work done right. To the roofer who always uses flashing to protect our homes from leaks. To the electrician who labels even the wiring no eyes will ever see. To the carpenter who's the last one to leave the work site. At Ariat Work, we build our rebar workwear for people who believe details make all the difference. Because we believe it ourselves. See for yourself at AreaAtWork.com or a Western or workwear store near you. The internet is awesome, period. And nobody provides faster, more reliable internet than Xfinity, period. Whether you're in East Sac, Old Sac, Downtown, Midtown, Oak Park, River Park, or Land Park. Man, we got a lot of parks. We've got you covered because you're getting unbeatable speed and coverage throughout your house. Whether you're in your living room, dining room, bathroom, guest room, ballroom, or panic room. Xfinity delivers the fastest, most reliable internet, period. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Okay, so uh, summer is coming to a close. Winter is creeping up on us. Garner Roofing is trying to get you prepared for that winter season with their $69 inspection. They also have an end of summer sale going on right now. They uh, also offer veteran and senior discounts. They've got a lot of stuff going on right now. They have financial options uh, available with no payments, no interest until 2020, or as little as $89 per month with zero down. They've also got terms up to 30 years, and some financing isn't even credit-based and is tax-deductible. Call them right now, 833-R5-O's in an F or online at GarnerRoofingInc.com. Years of drought, millions of dead trees, extreme winds, and leading scientists say there will be even more dangerous fires in the years ahead. Our weather is changing, and we all need to work together to get ready. Hi, I'm Lisa velis from PG&E. At PG&E, we are accelerating our forest management work in high fire threat areas, removing dead trees and trimming vegetation back 12 feet from power lines. As part of our community wildfire safety program, we are implementing additional safety measures to further reduce wildfire risks, including a 24-hour wildfire safety operations center, new early warning weather stations, and stronger power lines in high fire threat areas. And we want to make sure you know what steps you can take, like cutting back vegetation around your home, having the right emergency plan, and signing up for safety alerts. For more information on how to keep you and your neighborhood safe, visit pge.com slash wildfire safety. Are you stuck with an inaccurate credit report? A credit report that's causing you to be denied credit? 
Then do what Kathy did and call Lexington Law Firm. I was trying to finance a car, and it was, ugh, they wouldn't finance the car. One call was all it took to start back on the track to repairing her credit. I'm telling you, it's, it was amazing. Y'all have really changed my life. I could not have straightened this out by myself. Don't let an inaccurate credit report hold you back. California residents call Lexington Law for a free credit consultation at 800-928-0387. That's 800-928-0387, 800-928-0387. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision and should not be based solely upon advertisements. Your results will vary. John C. Heath, Attorney at Law, PLLC, DBA, Lexington Law, and of Counsel Attorneys, 360 North Cutler Drive, North Salt Lake, Utah, 84054. Adam Fullman of Council to Lexington Law in California. If you're into the best pizza, tastiest burgers, and incredible local craft beers, well, I have hands down the best place in town for you to visit every day, but especially Monday night. Join us for football every Monday night from 5 to 6 at Sammy's Restaurant and Bar. That's right, food, drinks, football, gaming, and so much more every Monday night. Sammy's is off I-80 and Antelope. That's football on Mondays at Sammy's, exclusively at Stone's Gambling Hall. Food, drinks, football, gaming, and so much more every, every Monday, Monday night. Bex Furniture. Sports 1140 KHDK is giving away coupons for a free all-new shredded beef taco at Dal Taco at every event October 1st through the 15th. Log on to KHDK.com to find out where the street team will be. Shredded beef is back. <laughs> it's the end of the show. But it's the start of your workday. <laughs> for a cold one, it's what's on tap. Here's what's on tap. All right, what's on tap time brought to you by potatoes. Maybe the most diverse vegetable. Think about the potato. You've got the mashed potato, potatoes out gratin, French fries, twice Just baked potatoes might be the best. All different kinds of French fries. Uh, you have red potatoes, Yukon Gold, uh, Russet, Baker, Mayfield. Hey, question. Are you a home fries or a hash browns guy? I'm not a home fries guy, dude. I'm not. They, I, they have to be done right. Yeah, I, 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 exactly. Exactly. Hash browns are so consistently good. I, uh... Yeah, I don't... There are certain establishments. It, it, it definitely depends on the place for me. I always try home fries first because I prefer the best home fry to the best hash brown. Right. If they're done right and they have, like, some green peppers and onions. Yeah, you need a little, right. like, Potatoes O'Brien action Agreed, going. agreed, agreed. But uh, if, I, if I know the place doesn't have very good home fries, and I love a good hash brown, just a shredded... Uh, potato, give me that. Single, and then we got to move on to what's on tap here. No, take single oh. greatest. It's a good one. Single greatest way to consume a potato. I have, and I'll, I'll have to think about this. Wait, can we make this question of the day tomorrow so we can get into it more in depth? We could. We can. I will. T- I will give you my nominees. And it includes all the, the condiments. The accoutrement. Yes. Uh, nominees for best way to consume a potato. Uh, number one, baked. Okay. Number two, twice baked. Underrated Extremely potato underrated. Style. And not as hard as people think. No. That's what she said. And finally, uh, I would say third nominee, French fry. But. Ooh, what I kind will of French al- fry? But I will allow for chips. Yeah, d- when I go to a place that has like homemade potato chips, mm-hmm. give me that all day. Like and that they're 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 crispy, but they're kind of s- a little soft still. Oh. That includes all. So that would also include all the dips that would go with yeah, said yeah, of course. chips. Yeah. So you can only consume a potato this one way for the rest of your life. Which which one do you consume? I went to a restaurant in San Francisco Ooh, that, served, San Francisco. that served that served chips. Mm-hmm barbecue homemade barbecue chips with this like uh cilantro uh green chili sauce Mm -hmm. unbelievable grant napier has answered the question offline would you trade the giants first round pick next year straight across for Derek carr kyle madsen 
What does TV play-by-play -play voice of the Kings and afternoon host on KHDK Grand Apier say to that trade? No. That is absolutely correct. Kyle? Kyle says no. He's a big Eli believer. He said, I don't know how much of that is him believing in Eli. I, I, again, I didn't ask him that part, but... Um, is he anti-Carr? I think he said... I think it's a combination of he's well, not that high on again. Derek Carr... And he knows or has a good idea that next year's pick is going to be quite the high pick. I'm I'm a little surprised. Fully loaded mash is a good is a good answer. Although that's kind of like a baked potato sans skin. Yep. Does Eunice have one? Does Eunice have a favorite favorite way to just kind of curious? She's got a potato preference. No preference. No preference. I think I think we gotta go mount potato more. Tomorrow. Ooh. Because I'm telling you, a good plate of like loaded cheese fries, really tough to beat. Oh, I got one for you. Restaurant says, you order a burger or whatever. Sure. Restaurant says, French fries, tater tots, sweet potato fries. Okay, sweet potato fries can get right out of my face because they're trash. Sorry, I think they're I, trash. They've grown on me a lot. Trash. I used to hate them, but they've grown on me a lot. I, you know what, you know what's, you know, I for eat me, them because they make me feel better about, about myself, yeah. even though they're not that much. Better. Exactly, and, and that's the thing. Sweet potato fries give you the thought of it being healthier, and it, the best I can hope for with a sweet potato fry is that it's tolerable. It's tolerable. Sure. Like this doesn't gross me out. Sure. Yeah, I got you. Kind of like my face. You're saying like, yeah, thank you. Tots versus fries depends on the fries. That's an incomplete question. Uh, if it, no, you don't. You don't know. You're winging it. You don't know what kind of fries. Fire wings, idiot. <laughs> okay, you're at Fire Wings. They offer you regular fries, season fries, or tots. Season fries. Yeah, there's season fries. Season fries for sure. I love me a good tater tot. And the garlic fry. Mm. I love me a good I'm tater tot. No, I'm going to Fire Wings today. This is your fault. But tater tots to me are best when they're, uh, it's like a tater tot mixture with cheese and stuff. Yeah, I agree. You know, we have tater tots and just dunk them in ketchup. Like That's tater fine. tot casserole? Brewers Dodgers tonight, 439 first pitch. That's pretty specific. That's also Pacific. Specific time. Yeah, but uh, 439. Dodgers, Brewers. Uh, we're rooting Brewers here, by the way. Uh, also, yeah, big Brewers guy. Yeah, big, huge Brew crew. Love our Brew crew. Robin Yount, obviously. I'm in the crew hive. Crew. The crew. crive. The crive? Wasn't Carlos Lee there for a hot Prove. minute? Probably. No, Na I don't think Niners, that. Packers, 515. It's going to be a good split screen tonight. Yeah. Niners, Packers, Packers two and two, two two and one. Niners one and four have not won on the road. Matt yep. Breida expected to play. We think it's questionable. I, I know. Listed as doubtful early in the week by Kyle Shanahan. Mm. Didn't practice until uh, Saturday. He is a limited participant in practice, so we'll see. My guess is they don't push it. A lot of people really, really, really in on this potato thing. We might have, I, we should probably shouldn't even brought this up. Mount potato more tomorrow, dude. Tachos. I'm all in on tachos. Tater tot nachos. Oh, a potato skin. A oh, oh yeah, potato, potato skin skins. Is really that's, hard that's to a, beat. You know what? That's a great one. With the with the cheese. Yeah. And yeah. When all a uh, item needs is like cheese, green onion, and a little sour cream. Yeah, and but, bacon. But here's the thing, and hear me out here, bro. No, I'm I'm here. Uh, when you have a potato skin that has enough, a little bit of meat in there, potato meat, mm -hmm. um, not to be confused with taco meat, and you've got a little sour cream, little chive, mm. uh, and then but then if you have you ever had a potato skin that was a potato skin but topped with like barbecued brisket? Yes. Yeah. Dynamite. Yeah. You just lost a fan because you like sweet potato fries. I, I'll stand in front of you. You didn't really say. You said they've I, grown on you. Yeah, I, I, and I, I fully admitted to ordering them just to make myself feel better about ordering fries. Potatoes out gratin are fine. We got a lot I, of potatoes out gratin fans. Yeah, uh, uh, like if you ever get potatoes out gratin at like a fancy restaurant. <laughs> Somebody on here says this, uh, and uh, as having a Eastern European slash Jewish mother, I'm a huge fan of this. 
Uh, potato pancakes are very underrated. If you've never had a potato pancake I have not. before, my mom she grates the potato, grates some onion, mixes it in with some egg and some stuff to hold oh it together. My gosh. Then throws it in the oil like a pancake, flips it. You can have it with applesauce, which she likes. I don't. I oh, like dude, it with ketchup. Give me that. Yeah, I would eat that plain. It's pretty amazing, dude. I'm not gonna lie. It's a bitch to make, but it's really amazing. Potato latkes. That's another one. You can bring the kosher food. Let's do this. We can do this all day long. That's where I live. Jim Koshermore. I live in Kosherland. Kosherland? Kosherland? Huh. Uh, Matt Bear is going to join us tomorrow. We'll recap today. Uh, we're also going to search a King's guest as well as the NBA season opens uh, in earnest tomorrow. Sorry, Ernest. Uh, for Eunice behind the glass who does not care about potatoes, for Kyle Madsen who does, I'm Carmichael Dave. We'll see you tomorrow at 6 a.m.